Microjig's gravity heel accessory for the gripper is a significant upgrade of the original trailing hook that came with the handle bridge kit. The gravity heel rides on top of the workpiece while you're cutting, then drops into place at the end of the part to provide a physical heel that assists in pushing the piece through the cutter. It is designed and priced to be sacrificial, pushing both the main part and the off-fall piece even when the off-fall is too narrow for the leg of the gripper, keeping parts from flying back at you. It also provides a major assist at the jointer, allowing positive feed through the end of the pass without having to apply excessive downforce, which can interfere with the proper flattening technique. At the router table, the gravity heel can be used to assist the push past the cutter or locked in place and used as a backer preventing tear out. And this backer can be saved for later use as a setup block. The Gravity Heel Kit comes with two complete sets of hardware and five heels in two sizes and assembly could not be easier. The heel spacer slides over the T-bolt with the cove and ridge facing out. Then the heel is added facing it so that the ridges and coves align with those in the heel spacer. The spring is added next, the nylon bushing sits on top of the spring, and the hand knob holds everything in place. The head of the T-bolt in the assembled gravity heel is inserted into the rear slot of the gripper that the center leg mounts in. The blade is tapered so the clamping knob can be adjusted in or out to control how far the heel will drop down. You can set it to drop a little or set it to go deeper. And of course, it can be locked in place when the situation demands. On the table saw, the jointer, or the router table, Microjig's gravity heel stays out of the way until the end of your operation, then automatically deploys to provide full support to the workpiece. Purchase your Gravity Heel Kit at a woodworking retailer near you, or visit microjig.com to find an authorized dealer.